Hi everyone! Uh, today I'm going to bring you an everyday look and I'm going to be using more expensive and higher end brands uh, that I enjoy using for everyday looks uh, on an everyday basis and also I'm going to share with you some gems that I recently discovered and that I've been loving a lot. So if you want to see the look, keep on watching. I love Embryolis and you can use uh, this hydrating cream as a primer if you don't want to use anything more and it's going to prepare your skin so well for foundation and to um, any other products that you want to use on top of it. It doesn't make the skin um, look shiny or nothing. This primer is amazing if you want to have your skin uh, look uh, very dewy and very natural with um, a little bit of shine through the foundation so I really really recommend it this is actually a new foundation that I bought recently and I fell in love with it it's very liquid it gives me an amazing uh, natural fresh and um, like I'm not wearing any foundation looking skin so I really 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 love it so if you want to try it out if you are into it go for it make sure that you're not using much concealer because you want to achieve a natural uh, looking skin and if you apply a lot of products it, it doesn't um, look natural anymore that, so that defeats the purpose of being a natural look so just make sure that you use a tiny bit of any of concealer that you're using to achieve this look I have natural brows so basically what I do is just define them with the pencil and make sure that I don't have any gaps or anything like that showing up any skin showing up and that's it I just uh, give them a little shape and define them applying the shade Titania all over the lid and I'm using it as a base for the next uh, shades that I'm going to be applying. I'm going to be only using like four shades. It's a very simple look but um, I know four shades um, seems like a lot but it's not actually. You will see how um, I'm going to apply them and it's going to be super quick and easy my finger to make it even easier I'm going to be applying the shade supernova all over the lid this is a like a satin shimmery finish uh, type of um, eyeshadow so it will apply super easy with your finger and it's actually quicker if you do everything with your fingers because it's just uh, said and done With my finger now, I'm applying the shade Polaris to the center of the lid, uh, try, trying to like mimic like a hello eye, but not really. And um, that it only provides like a little lumin luminosity to the look, and it will make uh, the eyes pop a little bit more. I'm bringing some definition to the look by adding a little bit of a deeper brown. The color is called Earth, and this will just uh, bring definition. But I don't want smokiness. I just want like a little um, baba boom to the look. But that's it. Um, if you see, it only brings some dimension to the look, but it doesn't smoke out the look. I'm adding the same color earth to the bottom lid just because I want uh, the look to tie it up with the top part and this will bring a little bit of uh, smokiness but not much and also will define the eyes better so the eyes will look a little bit bigger and the look will look complete. 
um, after I do this. Whenever I'm doing a natural look, I really don't recommend you to contour because contour uh, won't look natural actually in the skin. So uh, we always recommend that you contour by using a bronzer. Bronzer will bring color back to the skin and will keep your skin looking nice, looking natural, looking fresh, and will give you the finish you want. Whenever you apply blush, I always recommend that you first, when you go into the product, you first apply it to your hand to make sure that you get rid of the excess uh, product that you have in the brush and then apply it to your face because you don't want a lot of product in your face and then it's going to be difficult for you to work it out. So make sure you do this first. I love this highlighter. Even though it's a little bit blinding, it's very natural looking. It doesn't look like you have like straight up uh, glitter in your face. It really looks like it's your face glowing that way. So I really love putting it on the top of my cheeks and I also take it to the brow bone. The reason why I'm setting my uh, foundation right now almost at the end of the look is because since this is a natural look I just want my skin to look as natural as possible even though I'm using a lot of uh, products and I have foundation and I have concealer and all that I don't want my face to look like uh, cakey or anything like that so I use very very little powders this mascara is not gonna give you long and a lot of volume on your lashes. It's not gonna be the mascara for dramatic looking uh, lashes, but it's the mascara that is perfect for everyday, natural, fresh, and um, like you woke up like this look. <laughs> so it's perfect for, for this occasion. Now I'm doing my lips using uh, this lip crayon from Bite Beauty. Uh, it's a really nice color. It's a nude color that complements the look very, very well. And I'm gonna use my finger to distribute the color through my entire lips so they don't look like I actually took time doing the lips. Um, and this will give a very natural finish. And that's it, pretty. And this is the final look. As you can see, it's very natural. I didn't do, I didn't do any anything crazy. Um, the eyes are very natural. This is something that somebody can do in five minutes in the morning before you go to work. And you're gonna look awesome. You're gonna look natural. You're gonna look fresh. Your skin is gonna look light skin. And it's something very simple you can do. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.